lives matter doesn't insinuate that other lives don't matter. It's there, it's in the phrase, bro. I don't know what to tell you. From, from the, river the river to the, to the sea, sea the Palestine phrase. will be free. Also, doesn't feature from the river to the sea. We right, should destroy you know Israel and kill all the Jews. You're the one who's saying that that is the secondary implication behind it. Well, I, I, I think that anyone who, for instance, chants things like from the river to the sea is, is in fact... Yes, but they're not all doing that. ...or is criminally ignorant. Oh, well, they are. I mean, there's masses of videos of them marching past Westminster Abbey last week saying exactly that. Yeah, but they're not uh, all doing it. Past the Statue of Winston Churchill I, I've, last I've week watched the videos, exactly. and there are well, lots of people uh, okay, well, here, chanting well, and some who okay, aren't. Well, here's a challenge. OK, well, here's a challenge, Piers. If you decided to go on some kind of march mm. and in week one you discovered that you had the BNP along your side calling, for instance, for the murder of all black people, would you not wonder whether or not you should go on week two? And would you not drop out by about week three? I'd have thought so. I would. That's a good question. Uh, and yes, I would. <laughs> Well, your streaming service just lost $387 million, huh? Woof! You don't <laughs> talk to me like that! <laughs> you little piece of sh! <laughs> <laughs> Get the f up! Get the f up! <laughs> Sense of peace and gratitude and excitement that I want to share with you guys. This is going to be my last season. Uh, my last World Cup and my last NWSL season. How long will you play Captain Marvel? I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? Don't be so modest. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't have the answer to that. <laughs> so if we can split wrestling into 10 categories and that becomes the wrestling match but all men against each other correct so okay, so again, now the, i guess that of key point okay no, 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 no. okay so all i'm saying is what is it that makes the man the man is it the hormones okay, okay. is it if it's the hormones and you decide to give yourself a different cocktail of hormones I, I'm making this up, by Why the way. You, I'm not saying it should happen this way. It's a way to start thinking okay, about it. It would be maybe the track meets have hormone categories. And maybe giving yourself the wrong hormones is deleterious to your health. Would you not admit that? Go. And news starting to emerge that YouTube's ad blocking detection software violates European Union's online there is privacy news emerging laws. That people YouTube's ad blocking crackdown is facing a new challenge. The privacy file laws by an from the European Union. Source code. 
YouTube meet world. World. Meet YouTube. We were just discussing ideas of what to do with the new Prince Eric movie. Chicken it, make her gay! I sort of moved that treasure trove. You'd better. Put a chicken in it and make it f Good morning. Good morning, my man. How are you? I'm well, and yourself? I'm doing well. Sorry uh, to those viewers. There is some weird glitch in the video intro. <clears throat> I'm using StreamYard instead of uh, my normal software, so I think that may have something to do with it. I don't know. think anyone is up this early in the United States using up all my internet, but we got up early to uh, accommodate for uh, the traders that have left our shores for love or whatever <laughs> how are you doing today man very well yeah the time zone is a little bit difficult for uh such appearances by the way is my audio fine you sound that's good a, yeah okay, that's mm -hmm. a actual problem that people talk about so no no it's good uh so if you're just tuning in i'm joined here by sticks hex and hammer he is a longtime content creator and author and purveyor of leather and musician <laughs> and uh Big proponent of alt tech all of his uh links are in the description specifically his rumble page as well as his blog which has uh his books there correct is that yep edited works authored works etc so this is at uh tarl warwick books.blogspot.com it's linked in the description did i pronounce that correctly probably yes not. Doesn't it look cool considering I designed that, uh, God, I don't know, seven years ago or something? It does. I enjoy it. Uh, it, it harkens me back to a, an earlier age of internet uh, exactly. where not every website looked exactly the same, like the exact same WordPress <laughs> layouts and uh, just different colors attached. So uh, if you're just tuning in, make sure that you, if you're on Rumble, you follow Sticks over here on Rumble. Uh one thing I wanted to start off with is, uh, you know, it's always nice to start off shows with a compliment. Uh, the, um, you know, you've definitely been a longtime supporter of new tech. And mm -hmm. the, since the beginning, you are easily the the largest non, non essentially, non essential embracer of all tech. What I mean by that is you've willingly foregone money to embrace new tech. And I've always uh, been um, extremely impressed by that. And I've tried to like, di like directly follow your footsteps in for that, because it's, uh, you know, I have always watched your videos. 
but uh, more than your videos, always admired, you know, you're putting videos up on freaking daily motion for crying out loud. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I became mean, one of the largest creators. Actually, you've you've done very well at that. I've noticed uh, by pushing new tech, uh, mm -hmm. which a lot of content creators, for some stubborn reason, they haven't done. And I think that for the two of us and for a few others, it's really paid off, especially with Rumble taking off now and BitChute with, uh, you know, with its new projects of pay shoot and live streaming and stuff. I think that uh, there are going to be some people out there with wet eyes when they realize really what all tech is capable of. You know, a lot of people might not would be willing to say this part out loud, but I will. Uh, it's exclusively money for creators that don't embrace new tech. I don't want to hear any other excuses from them. Um, and, you know, I've had friends who see now what people like you and I have built on new tech that, you know, come around with their hands out. You know, I want to get paid. I'm like, bro, these platforms don't give a shit about you because <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't care about them when they were small. That was one of the re big reasons that I was able to even get a deal with Rumbles because they're like, dude, you, we know you've been here since we opened you know and um i credit you specifically with uh fueling that you know desire t t too often people don't embrace all tech until it's their only option and that's why Ex they exactly count on that. exactly there are people they've got incredible talent they've got huge audiences and stuff but they were expecting youtube to prop them up mm. and that's like the craziest proposition you can possibly make i mean <laughs> look at youtube's changes in tos over the last five years, anyone could see the writing on the wall. And that's why I promoted all these platforms. First, BitChute alone. I made BitChute exclusives. Yeah. And then later on, new tech exclusives. So with Odyssey, which I think just got sold or is I being sold. That. Yeah. Yeah. And and Rumble, uh, which which I like very much as a site. They've been very, very friendly to me as opposed to the, the old tech sites that uh, basically take a crap on me at every opportunity possible. You have one of those faces, the crappable face. Cam uh, said, uh, cheers <laughs> to the Kangs of alt tech. Uh, been with both of you for almost a decade for the clank and the quarter pounders rumble for the win. Yeah. The, um, yeah, it's one of those things I, I struggle with, um, you know, where I try to lightly bully um, other content creators. One of the biggest misconceptions, uh, and I'm sure people ask you about it too, because then they're like, Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Sticks. He's got 150,000 followers on Rumble. I guess there are people there. Um, the Yeah, lots of them. <laughs> that's yeah. the point. And that's well, why we branch out. Yeah, 40 million in just the United States and Canada alone. <clears throat> they had, um, you know, one of the things that uh, some of the larger creators in the space, I talked to them in like our world. You know, I cover more pointless yeah. stuff, but I still view us in, as kind of in the same sphere. Um, I think that's beneficial to me. Yeah, I mean, we're we're the nexus of of the cutting edge of new tech is literally Always. on this on this particular live stream. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. Yeah, the the two largest proponents of it or supporters of it. The um, there's this misconception. I always I say people don't want to support it because of money, and I I believe I'm right. Nobody can tell me I'm wrong because um, there is literally no other reason not to. Um, but one of the things that a lot of people simply don't understand is that they are different audiences. Mm -hmm. When you embrace new tech, it's not always that like everyone leaves. Now, you have been doing it so long that people are choosing to watch you on other platforms. But if you're like, uh, well, I don't want to name any names, but if you're like somebody, you know, who's maybe not a good boy um, or good girl on the platform, most people will probably stay on, on YouTube, there's 50 million or 40 million in just the US and Canada alone. People that only watch on Rumble. There's people that only watch on BitChute. People that only watch on Odyssey. Yeah. And uh, most people don't do both. And, Rumble, uh, at, the, at this point on Rumble, I'm getting more views on some of my uploads than I get on YouTube. I got half a million friggin' subscribers on YouTube. And yet because of the algorithmic demotion, Rumble will promote me. Or at yep. the very least, let me compete in, in an even market. YouTube's like, huh, you're not a priority creator. You didn't sell out. You're not under a corporate contract with an invest a company that invests with us. So screw yourself, basically, is what they've done. MSNBC, therefore, will jump the line. Like if you or I or any of the other major independent content creators make a news story, the second MSNBC or Fox or whatever uploads, we're immediately buried by the algorithm. Yeah. But that doesn't happen on Rumble, which I very much appreciate. Yeah, or on any other new tech site. 
yeah, we're all kind of in the same in the same uh in the same pool. That's another yeah. thing that um <clears throat> I, I'm sure that you found yourself saying this is but perhaps maybe not because I'm a, a little more um like uh dumb about relationships. But like I'll <laughs> see people whining about oh nobody's seeing my videos. Oh I'm just getting and I'm like, oh okay, cool. What's your rumble page? Oh, I don't have one. Yeah, I don't, shoot. <laughs> I don't have one. How about how about Odyssey? No, I don't. I'm not on that either. You know, it Neither, takes like did. five minutes. You know, the funny part is a lot of them use Vimeo. Yeah, and I don't yeah. know why, because there's like 10 <laughs> people that use the, the fucking like you'd be better off doing daily motion. And they uh, they preempted YouTube with regards to uh, ad blocking and stuff like that. Like I, I stopped using it because I'm not a hypocrite. Yeah. And they started blocking people using ad blocker. And I'm like, okay, technically I have one of the largest pages on daily motion for what very little that's actually worth, let's face it. Mm. Uh, but, but you know, I'm, I'm going to block ads. I'm not going to use your friggin' site. I'm not going to look at anything. I remember the days of VidMe. That was the first one that really broke yeah. through. And Vid. then, Me. And then yeah. because, yeah. yeah, and then because, uh, because um, Reddit was involved, they decided to collapse the site. The second that people like you and I started using it, right. they decided to, to, to torpedo their own website. Yeah, I definitely had a page there too, and it's um, it, it it's it's funny to me just how, like, it's, it's a good time. I'm happy. I'm so happy that, you know, not to dismiss Odyssey and Bitchute, but you know, clearly Rumble is the front runner to, you know, actually have staying power. Bitchute also probably does, and Odyssey by by virtue of the way their mm -hmm. infrastructure actually works and the way that they're supported. I actually don't even fully understand Odyssey's infrastructure to be completely and blatantly honest. Yeah, I don't either. But they, I don't, they're still there. They're still Vid there. Vidme Vid collapsed, but they're still there. I remember they had these library coins or something like that. And I've actually, like... got, yes, I've actually got a USB drive uh, that I got from uh, Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, it's, from, it's, me it's too. worth literally like zero cents now, I think, by now. But well, I'm unlike you, I, I am. I, Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. I was say, yeah, I, I, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not used to being up this early. I'm all jacked up on caffeine. <laughs> I, Me I, uh, unlike you, I sold mine immediately, and I was like, they were like, hey, you have like, I don't know what it was, hundred and fifty thousand or something of these library coins. Mm -hmm. I don't understand crypto very much. I understand that it's important, but I don't. You get a bit of a like, payday probably if you sold a peak, you know. I sold, I sold right away, and I got, I don't know, it was a couple thousand dollars or something like that. But yeah. for me, it was like the very first time I ever made a penny off any new tech. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna work. And then like, see, I'm crashed. I'm keeping yeah. that USB stick for when we're old and wise and young people aren't wise, and they'll think that it's a valuable collector's item because it'll be the only one left that never actually had the LBC taken off of it. Oh, and yeah. I'm going to have the only one, and uh, eBay won't exist by then, probably, but somewhere I will make sure to sell that. I'm I keeping that collectible because, I mean, it's also a testament in a way. It's almost a little bit like, you know, like the Rumble Award and stuff like that over here. It's kind of like a trophy to me. And yeah. and I kind of like, like scalp the Rumble hunting. thing, right? Yeah, I, I kind of too. Yeah, I kind of like scalp hunting after old tech because we get to be on the cutting edge of all of these sites that actually give a crap about freedom of speech. To one degree or another, they're actually trying. And that's what the internet was always supposed to be about, as opposed to simply, hey, I signed a corporate contract and now I do YouTube shorts or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One thing that we've always agreed on, I think that also uh, a um, an intersectional <laughs> point is about kind of this internet bill of rights. And, mm -hmm. you know, do you think the, the problem I have, like one of the biggest gripes I have about Trump and Yes, I know, you know, Trump has never done anything wrong. Fan chat, I know. <laughs> but like, I mean, look, I voted for the guy. I will vote for him again. But I like he I was like, oh, he's gonna do something with section 230, actually enforce it. And then he didn't give a damn until he got banned off Twitter. And I and like, that's yes, we've got a point of agreement there. Uh Trump should have moved harder and he should have moved sooner on that issue. I would say though, in his re-election bid, and if he's re-elected he doesn't give a damn anymore yeah. because yeah. he can't go again. He's going to be like a raped ape effectively if he gets back in office because of the persecution. He's just going to break all the toys. I hope. One, yeah. the, the very first campaign video that he put on Rumble, if I remember correctly, was 
Internet Bill of Rights, Reform of 230. Yep. And I made a video about that. That was, I think, what was it? This last January or February or something. It was quite a while ago. Yeah. And it ticked literally every mark. In fact, it sounded like a, a monologue one of us could have made, actually. Yeah. The, and I was I, like, yes, thank, thank you, Donald. Please. Yeah. Before we're, you know. Throw we're, me we're, some meat. <laughs> yeah. We're definitely long in the tooth in this game. And yeah. like, I, I would say that both of us have overextended the typical life of a talking head um yeah. on on these platforms and it's like before i ride off into the sunset there there i am before i ride off into the sunset i want to see an internet bill of rights because mm -hmm. it's never been more clear that in, in my opinion the first amendment absolutely should apply to social media there's no yeah. question about it there's no wiggle room it is the public square and um you know and we've given social media companies enough power and time to show us that they'll do the right thing, but they never will unless it's yeah. ratified. Yeah, exactly. Like I remember, do you, and I think you probably do too. You remember like SOPA, PIPA, yeah. ACTA, like the old guard attempts by the government to censor or mess with the internet. You remember Mozilla Net Firefox, neutral. Yeah. You, YouTube at the time, Facebook at the time, coming out against these things and actually standing against the US government and attempting to mobilize their user bases to prevent uh, undue influence over the internet to prevent censorship and, and, you know, dumb copyright laws and things like that. Now they just go along with it because they've been bought off. Yeah. Well, it's in their best interest now because exactly. there's a virtual monopoly created by, uh, you know, one thing I, that scares me the most about the internet is that it, it teeters on two people, Google and Apple, two people with like, you know, mm -hmm. their app stores. We saw, I, I don't, I, I don't remember. Uh, you probably remember, you know, Parler, right? Yes. Parler comes out. This is a story like when I'm like, I'm going to be like Al Bundy talking about my four touchdowns in one game at Pope High. <laughs> but like they, they come out. I have like 250,000 followers like immediately. And I'm like, what the? And then I'm like, I would, I don't know what they call them, parlays or something. I put something out and then like, I would have like a thousand interactions. And I'm like, what is this? Cause I was, I, I'm so used to being suppressed everywhere else. And then the second that was out, they're like, ah, oh, nah, dude, nah, nah. J6, it's it's like 2911s. We got to shut it down. Even yeah. though they also use Facebook, they also use YouTube. They also use all these other people. Yeah, but look, look no. at all the look at all of the shooting videos and yeah. literal rape videos. In some cases, there was that one uh, a couple of years ago. You might know what I'm talking about. Do you remember when that uh, mentally retarded man? Was being effectively tortured by yes, a bunch of Black Lives Matter of, people or whatever. Yeah, by, they were by a bunch of BLM guys. people. Yeah, and they yeah. posted. They, they they didn't post it on on Parler. They didn't post it on Gab. On yeah, they posted on Facebook. Yeah, you've got all sorts of crazy shit all over these sites, and they never get in any trouble because they toe the line. Then they donate right. to to people that are running for Congress and stuff like that. Well, yeah, I mean Zuckerberg, you know, donating a hundred million dollars because he just loves yeah. democracy. Like $100 million of some small election in Georgia just because he just loves democracy. All these, We've got to um, defend the republic against Orange Man and his <laughs> Nazi hordes. Yeah, right. Even though, like, I mean, essentially, and this is something, too, that, um, you know, one one thing that we probably also agree on, like, the DNC for, for you know, forever has really, you know, YouTube, Facebook, social media in and of itself has just been an extension of the DNC. Whatever they want, they get. Their stuff gets promoted yeah. around election and uniparty, time. And uniparty GOP. Yeah. They don't care yeah. if you're a Republican as long as you're a McCain Republican. Again, if you toe the line, then they're perfectly fine with you. The second that you actually care about your constituents, there's a real fucking problem. Well, that's let's let's uh, it's further down the list. But speaking of McCain Republicans, yeah. uh, Nikki Haley, what in the this woman is demonic and like mainstream. She's lost it. Yeah, I mean, you saw her clip. I sure you. I, I think you did. You did a video on it. The um... yeah, the other day. I, I definitely <laughs> talked about it. The, the, the funny thing is, if she had a campaign, it'd be a campaign killer. But she doesn't really have a campaign. So it actually, yeah. I don't think. And people can uh, maybe see this in the coming weeks. I predict that it won't actually affect her that much in polling because she's polling so low. Yeah, I don't think that it really because she's. I mean, and also ran. It's a non-issue. But if well, she they, was at 30 or something like that, I would say, okay, she's done. You might as well pack it up and go home. Well, it's funny to see 
you know, this time around, this is the, you know, the election I'll be, I've watched the closest. I haven't been inherently that political till maybe 2016. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people where Trump yeah. got a lot of normies like me into it. And <laughs> I'm watching the machine work with Nikki Haley. I saw like the New York post ran this article, like Nikki Haley absolutely crushed it at the debates. I'm like, what, what were you they, watching? They, yeah, they are in love the with page. her. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's like all these neocons um and warmongers they i mean like R ramaswamy what ramaswamy said about her like hey you were bankrupt so you end up on the board at some defense company getting paid to <laughs> speak at their events or whatever Th that should have automatically ended it but nope the machine came right out the next day and they're like oh no nikki haley she's you know israel america doesn't need israel no uh, israel doesn't need america america needs israel but we should also send them a hundred billion dollars <laughs> Yeah, and if you check her Twitter, it, it is kind of funny. More than half of all of the recent posts on there are about Israel. And that's, I'm not shitting you. It's not an exaggeration. And high heels Here you, ammunition. Yeah, well, that too. You've got a presidential candidate in one country who predominantly talks about another country. And it just seems a little bit weird. And when she's talking about wanting to end internet anonymity like she did the other day, and then backtracking not that long ago and saying, no, nah, that's not what I meant. I want to end anonymity for the Chinese and the Iranians uh -huh. and stuff, yeah. as though that's even workable in any way, shape, or form. It literally wouldn't work. Um, how can a person continue supporting her? <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just don't understand where her constituency, other than people who want to start World War III, I guess uh, she's got the warmonger war people, caucus sewn up. Yeah, war warmongers. She's got money. The money sewn up. You know the defense yeah. companies, um, yeah. the the pro you know interventionist in Israel people, um, and and maybe it's just about making money, which is like the only thing I can think. Wait, we need to talk about somebody said what's going on in Japan against manga and anime. They're about to pass a legislation that could allegedly take down thirty percent of creators in Japan. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, well, I'll take a look into that once I'm after you know because I'll probably go back to bed after this, but. Um, I, I do, I, I do apologize for my wonky time zone. No, no, you can't change that. Um, you could have stayed in beautiful America, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> the, I wanted to get your take on, uh, <laughs> I'm sure if you've been on X or Twitter this morning, you may have seen a little bit of, a uh, 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 Tim pool esque civil war going on at our favorite, uh, big con company, daily wire between, uh, Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens. How do you think this shakes out? Uh, I, I think that Candace Owens has a pretty good chance of getting fired. Uh, and, and I don't really have a strong team, but but in this particular spat, I think I side more with Candace Owens. Um, like Ben Shapiro earlier, he, she had made a comment about, you know, Christ is king and talking yeah. about how, you know, you can't serve Can't two bang. masters. So if your master is money and you can't serve God and stuff for some bizarre reason, I don't even quite know why he assumed that that was about the Daily yeah, Wire. What a, what a she never mentioned it. Yeah. She never mentioned the Daily Wire or Shapiro in that comment. And he jumped down her throat and then of course she responds and she I can't can be, believe he... she can honestly be acerbic. I mean, we'll, we'll be honest yeah. here, yeah. but he, she didn't mention the Daily Wire. I can't that believe he weird. hasn't deleted it. I <laughs> if he's getting killed in the comments. It looks very catty, and and um. Well, he is. So. Yeah, he is. <laughs> well, I think probably my my if I'm a gambling man, I think she's going to do something with Tucker. There's some the mm -hmm. timing of her Tucker interview, it, and then with her kind of you know more full throated. Because she didn't have to reply to his tweet, but then she replied back and basically said, hey, I don't know. I said this. I don't know why you thought it's about you. And then she used the Tucker's platform to basically, I thought she expertly positioned herself. I'm not a big fan of Candace Owens. I still remember social autopsy, even if a lot of people don't. But the... Um, I'm vaguely uh, familiar with that. She yeah. had a doxing website back when she was a leftist, when she was known as Red Pill Black. The um, for people that said mean things to her online, and she's never acknowledged that. But regardless, she can be extreme. Like I think the crisis thing can, thing is a grift, but I I could be wrong. She just knows how to. It's hard to defeat her in a Twitter war. She's very t tactical. Yeah.
and Ben and Ben Shapiro tends to be more aloof. He's he's not very tactical in that sense. Yeah, she probably spent all you know two hours thinking about her tweet. It'll be fun to watch today. Or it just I took th- her two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that could be too. I I think um she 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 came out on top of that one. You know Ben has been. I get it because he's Jewish. You know I get it why he cares. But like I can't even look at the Daily Wire's website right now because this wall to wall a war I don't care about. And, like yeah. I don't care about Israel yeah. Palestine. I don't and, I don't want the United States involved. I don't care. And Shapiro has a lot of, of credentials. Like he is well spoken, honestly. Mm-hmm. Although maybe not in the in the debate sense, but as far as delivering a monologue, he is very well spoken. Uh, and and he has the name recognition, et cetera, et cetera. He's I mean, he's got a lot going for him. But I just don't understand why you would decide to randomly get into it in public, apparently intoxicated with your employee, <laughs> yeah. or co-worker. I'm not sure exactly which you describe Candace Owens as, and yeah, then conti- then continue it again. On a post that's not even related to your spat and has absolutely nothing to do with it. It's oh, you're talking about weird. What, you're talking about were you referencing the clip, the video yeah. clip thing? I didn't know that there was alcohol involved. That is that is that a, my my reading of it is he looked like he had had a couple. He did. His hair was kind of disheveled. Yeah, I don't he know looked, that. I I don't yeah. allege it. I'm just saying that I suspect it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. By the way, if you're just tuning in now. Um, I'm joined here by Six Hexenhammer. Uh, he is uh, uh, a, a, a commentator in, in addition to many other things. If you're enjoying his conversation, his YouTube channel, I'm sorry, his Rumble channel is linked in the description below, as well as his uh, book website, um, which is uh, also full of interesting things to check out. Non political things mostly. Yeah, non political. And some of the things you do here. Are bringing their their translations. Their their. Tell me a little bit more about this. I just really really like old works on things like the supernatural, folklore, herbal medicine, mysticism, sorcery, and so what I do is originally. Can I tell the backstory really briefly? Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, originally it was because I was on Amazon and I'm interested in these subjects, and I was trying to find books to read, and I could only find for many titles two kinds of books. Cheap editions that were shitty because Mm. somebody had literally taken a PDF scan, uploaded that file to Amazon, and somehow they managed to pass it off for sale. So it's good for a primary resource for research purposes, but it's not necessarily fully legible. It's got all sorts of problems in it. Or they would have properly made versions, but they were very expensive, and I was poor at the time. So I got it into my head, why don't I take some editions from my own physical collection and transcribe them by hand and release inexpensive editions that are also legible, like a modern edition. And then I branched out and I figured out how to use OCR and things like that. And I started editing books and uh, God, I've sold uh, probably upwards of 100,000 copies at this point. So that's not definitely it definitely paid off. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Actually, yeah, OCR for people that don't know. That's like scanning an old text and then creating a document that you can edit um, mm-hmm. going forward. But yeah, so make sure you check that out. Um, and also sticks is if you're not subscribed to his or following, sorry, his Rumble channel, go to that. If you're watching on YouTube, I appreciate you. And he also has a YouTube channel as well. Um, did you see that there was another insurrection last night? I don't know how many 9-11s it was, but we had you another. You mean the one at the DNC? Yeah, the yeah the one at the DNC. What? Yes, um, democracy is definitely on the line, and therefore we need <laughs> new laws, uh, suspension of elections, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> I support this. Yeah, the, the this is for the future of our country. Um, what is your take on the pickle that the left is in right now? Because I am not a fan of pickles. I don't like them. I pick them off my burgers. I you don't like disgusting. pickles. They're an abomination. Never visit the Netherlands, my dude. (laughs) I'm probably never going to leave my little little nugget here in southeastern Wisconsin, the land of Greece and cheese. But the, (laughs) you know, I'm loving the just every time I'm seeing the the, these riots. I'm sorry, peaceful protests, fiery, but mostly peaceful. Mostly, I I, I'm (laughs) loving it. What's your how? What's the end game here? I feel like this is not good 
uh, for the left. Come yeah, election the, season. the Democratic Party, and, and I've talked about this briefly before a couple of times, they keep whining and dining the left to get them to vote for them. But then when they get into office, they never really give them much of what they want. And this mm -hmm. is the end result of that. It's it's literally the same thing. Yeah, and it is it is funny to watch because then the DNC has to they're they're sitting there cowering behind their desks. Imagine them. They're sweating bullets, yeah. calling the police, please come and save us. Uh, we're really sorry about the defund the police hashtag that we popularized a couple of years ago. Yeah, please, please. save it because because these people are being violent. Yeah, because they're uh, standing there mainly. But well, yeah, most of them are, you know, most of them are peaceful. I only use that rhetoric because that's the rhetoric they use. Just like, yeah. you know, 99 percent of the people at January 6th were peaceful. But our government uh, has been hunting them down like terrorists, ruining their lives putting them in and holding them without trial, holding them like political prisoners. And, uh, you know, everyone just said that's okay because it was like 29 11s on January 6th. Yeah. And the, so now the left is doing it at some point, you know, I knew, I knew the Israel issue was going to do it. I'm like, they, they, but like you said, the, the Bernie Sanders is, and all these people that have been acquiescing to the establishment Democrat candidates passing their votes along like Bernie did. And like all these other radical leftists that still vote for Democrats AOC at the end of the day, stuff, AOC, yeah, yeah they're not going to get their votes anymore. They're they're like this issue broke them. They're not going to vote for Joe Biden uh, because he's you know because of the Israel conflict. There's just... I think I think that they'll mainly hold ranks in the political sense at the party level, but there will definitely be off like splinter groups of people that refuse to go along. Is that the problem would be? Imagine like you're AOC. So your constituents mainly want you to go up against Biden and demand the ceasefire and stuff like that. Mm. He runs for re-election. You have to endorse him. You you are the one on shaky ground, I think, more oh, than the establishment point. Dems yeah. because because you alien because it's a district. So you maybe alienate a substantial proportion of voters, and then you have to sort of like suck up to them in some other way, like oh, but I'm also voting in favor of more welfare. Uh, yeah, I'm also yeah. voting in favor of banning all all modern firearms or something Cows. like that. And yeah. I think in the in the end, it won't go well for them. I think the neoliberals, unfortunately, come out more or less unscathed. Other than I would say it definitely hazards Biden's reelection chances. Not that they're very high at the moment based on any polling. I think it's funny to watch. I think you did a video on this, too, just the other day or maybe today. I feel like I, I feel like you did. Watching like the denial for the mainstream media that Trump isn't like an unstoppable juggernaut, like they really are, they, they just really believe he's not going to be the candidate. They think they're going to get him on all these technicalities. Yeah, I am, I am, I am of the belief they will get him on almost nothing. If they, if whatever they get, that's him on, why they're, him yeah, run. that's why they're throwing so many charges at him. It's, it's completely artificial. They're just hoping to get him on something. The yeah. problem is, what do you do thereafter? I mean, again, unless you change the law, he has to have a secret service detail at all times. So you can't really put him in jail. You can put him under house arrest at the Mar-a-Lago. That makes him look like Napoleon Bonaparte. It makes him look like a martyr or something. And he could like still that. run. I don't know. Ex yeah, exactly. I don't know exactly how they're hoping to solve the situation. Yeah. And that... for the G and the G I can't imagine the GOP is between even more of a cock in a hard place. Yeah. They either lose the presidential election, they win with someone they don't like, or they jettison the person they don't like, lose in a massive landslide, and effectively commit suicide as a political force. I actually wouldn't care about. I'd be happy yeah, probably yeah, for that yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, that's think, yeah. That's the second. The best outcome is Trump gets reelected. The second best is they decide to punt him, and they just get wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. Like yeah. one of the two scenarios, <laughs> I've definitely become more aware of the Uniparty now. I mean, people like you have known about it for a long time, and uh, my smart good smelling viewers they probably you know they've been yelling at me about it for years but like now you really now i'm really seeing it it's like yeah. man these people really are on the same team you the overwhelming majority it doesn't matter if there's a d or an r in front of your name they're all on the same team they all want to send all of our money overseas for wars they don't care about immigration they say they do but they don't when they go and vote they they break from the party lines or you know and they you know or they they all I'm sorry they all just stick together on these issues. Mm -hmm. We know this. We saw it never more clear, at least for me, when uh, they did they ousted the speaker, 
And, you know, then they're like, oh, we got to get an interim speaker. I'm like, oh, geez, I wonder why they're doing Oh, because they all got to approve sending a $100 billion to Israel. Yeah. Like, where where is? That's their priority. <laughs> yeah. It I mean, was... I, I've, I've said, like, the, the, mo the only fully modern president that was good was Trump. Yeah, uh, and before that, you have to go back to the first term of Ronald Reagan to find somebody who was at least reasonably acceptable. Unfortunately, he got dementia and his second term was... You know, he was a puppet, okay. right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he did a few good things, but you know, he wasn't really himself. He wasn't 1981 Reagan anymore. Yeah, the I for me that was a big moment. I was like, oh, I bet you this is why they're doing it. And then, sure enough, the guy comes in there. First thing he does, and the, and the same pieces of garbage <laughs> are like saber rattling about. Oh, inflation's a big deal. Um, you know, oh, look at California. Look at all the drug addicts. Oh, this is bad. Our southern border, you know, you could build a hell of a lot of wall with a hundred billion dollars. A lot of it, mm -hmm. uh, you could dig it. I, th I think you could pretty much complete the whole it at thing. That point. Yeah, you could have the whole thing, and you could probably have a moat with sharks with laser beams on their heads <laughs> with a hundred billion. And it's like, oh, this immigration problem. And I've become more aware on both the left and the right that the problems are job security. There's no, there's no re-election in fixing the homeless problem in San Francisco. There's no, because there's so much federal money coming in, so many people that are paid to fix the homeless problem. Well, if they actually, we saw how quick they could fix it. Just invite Xi Jinping over and yeah, all the homeless just disappear. I as long as a high ranking communist is around, you got to keep up appearances because, you know, their support is very important. Yeah, that was, uh, I was... <laughs> That was it's so that's funny that's to me. nuts. By the by the way, he, by the way, Gavin Newsom's messaging afterwards. Oh, he's like, you gotta yeah, clean yeah, up your we, house. Yeah, you gotta clean when you have guests over. <laughs> you gotta clean up a little bit. It's like okay, so you live in a hoarder house, but you make sure to take that down to the basement when your uncle comes over. Basically, yeah, your pedo uncle. But yeah, he, basically, <laughs> Gavin Newsom was just sucking the cock of Gav of of uh, Xi Jinping. Yeah, absolutely sucking him off. Couldn't have looked more weak. What do you think? I, I didn't have this on the <laughs> list, but here's something that that I'm actually concerned about. So if we if OK, so on the hypothesis that Biden does not run mm -hmm. in 2024, he has a medical injury or medical issue or whatever it's possible, you know, what what's your level of concern about, uh, you know, Michelle Obama or Gavin running? Because I think they have a better chance of beating Trump than Biden. I, I think with Gavin Newsom, his Jinping shtick actually really hurt him because he's okay. in the echo chamber of California where he can get away with it. I don't think you're going to get away with it in North Carolina or Iowa Not in the or Rust Belt. like that. I, I, yeah. I think that hurts him. Michelle Obama would be more palatable, but she, I think, genuinely has sworn off politics. When she said over and over again, by the way, years ago when Obama was getting ready to leave, I have no intent in entering yeah. politics. No, I'm not running. I'm not interested. Most of the time, if a politician kind of has an interest, it's say, well, I'm not sure. Maybe I'd think about it. I Not at this time or something like that. She's actually been very forthright on that. I actually believe her. I don't think that she intends uh, to re-enter politics. That gives me a lot of hope because I think, <laughs> hope, yeah. ironically. But the- um, Hope and I, I change. Think, yeah, hope and change. The, you know, I think- Somebody I had on, I think it was a journalist I had on last week, basically said that he, he didn't think she would run because Barack put his foot down and said, you're going to mess up my legacy. Like, because he would be, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if I buy that. I also don't buy that yeah. he had wears yeah. the pants in that house. But yeah. it would be. It would <laughs> he wears be, a uh, skirt in that household, allegedly. Right. That's what, yeah, that's what I keep hearing. No, I, I think it's more genuinely. I, I, here's my read of it. Uh, Michelle Obama is Mike Obama, the theory aside. I think that she uh, yeah, genuinely, I think she genuinely disliked being around a bunch of people who are closetedly racist. I all of that. those, all, all of the white Democrats, Hillary Clinton, Elizabeth Warren, et cetera, you know that when they talk behind Michelle Obama's uh, uh, back, they're talking, they're making jokes about the help. Or something yeah. like that. I can yep. I can read them. I've met people like that. Upper class liberals are the most racist people in the goddamn Western world. 
I think that Michelle Obama genuinely disliked that. I buy that. I don't even think she was necessarily happy with Obama running for re-election. She's like, well, you know, we're ba we're basically being how to call a house N word. So, you know, I'd, I'd really rather just do something else. Let's take the money and run. Yeah, I mean, I I buy I buy that. You can tell when people, you know, don't like you. It's pretty obvious. Exactly. And you you could tell by some of the pictures too. You know, you'd have some some group of yeah. white female politicians, especially the older female politicians. They'd be like very hoity-toity, and Michelle Obama's sort of off the side scowling. That's not because <laughs> Michelle Obama was being an ass or something like that. It's she because it. she probably just heard a racial epithet. Yeah, I think um, you know, politics aside too. I mean, look what it did to her husband. That man aged mm -hmm. 40 years in eight years. <laughs> like, I've never Do you remember seen... the shirtless pictures of Obama that they were trotting out around, like, what was it, 20, 20, 2010 or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Here's Obama on the beach. He's a stud. He's a, yeah, he's a stud. Being president, literally, he looks like Nosferatu now. Like, he <laughs> got, he, he, his skin lightened, his hair is gray. It almost killed him. You look at a converse, you look at a guy like Trump. He's been president. He went through another election cycle. The guy looks as good as he ever has. Like he looks exactly the same to me. He well, he lost a bunch of weight it. too after he, he left. Yeah, yeah he lost it. He him. lost a bunch of weight. That's why the DeSantis fans have to keep trotting out like four year old photos of him going golfing and stuff like that. Just kind that of that shot is, yeah, he's got a lot of unflattering snapshots where he was extremely uh pear shaped <laughs> like uh, he and, was uh, obese yeah <laughs> yeah he's very obese now he looks pretty good i think that was smart because you know i am genuinely concerned about his age the guy's gonna be in his 80s you know in, in this next term potentially if it's an issue about biden it's an issue about trump but you know mm -hmm. although there is a four-year deal well, i would say it's an issue but a lesser one because there's a four-year difference trump's four years younger yeah. And he's actually capable of delivering a few sentences without going off his rocker. And he usually appears to know where he is. That's usually helpful if you're the president. The Generally, States. yeah. He did have that one gaffe in you like see Biden? Iowa or something. <clears throat> oh, yeah. But I mean, that happens to every politician. Every did rock you see, man. Uh, yeah. Did you, <laughs> did you see Biden at the um, at Veterans Day there? Oh, my God. And he lays the worst wreath. one yet. And then, and then he's like, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know where I am. And the poor so the poor general or whatever he is there has to like guide him back over to the people that are 10 feet away. He looked like one of those robotic vacuums that didn't know which way to turn. Like yeah. he just kept bump bumping up <laughs> lasers. He um by the way, if you're just tuned in, uh shout out to Rumble. This is why Rumble's so great. <laughs> 40, 4,200 people watching on Rumble right now, but 1,500 on YouTube too. So that's very solid. So if you're one of the 5,700 people out there. I'm joined here by Six Hexenhammer, six six six. He covers all sorts of things, uh, you know, in in the political sphere, in the world, you know, in the chaos world. He's kind of um, I would view his content as complimentary to mine. Like he doesn't cover pointless Hollywood bullshit, but you know, if you, if you watch my my uh, my uh, superficial content and then you watch his content, you'll basically know what's going on. Out there, well, we can like, both uh, be eclectic, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to have a crossover sometime. Yeah, I'll, I'll oh, do, yeah. I'll, I'll do a drama bit, and then you can do like an occult video. Oh yeah, I love it. Let's <laughs> we'll do yeah, another yeah. stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I could definitely do that. I was um, I I the the occult was like a big part of uh when I was young. I was I was pretty deep into it. Um, when mm. uh I was enjoying things like you know Dungeons and Dragons. So obviously, I turned into a Satanist playing that game. And, um, you yeah, know, you all worship that. the devil. And... Right. Yeah, that's what that's I what actually they... people always think that I played Dungeons and Dragons. I know literally nothing about it. Yeah. I, or Magic I... the Gathering. It's like, OK, it looks like a really cool like a trading card game sort of thing. But I don't know. It's like chess plus math. But um, I think <clears throat> you missed the window on that. Getting into it now would be a little weird. Monk. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely <laughs> ruined um, that, you know, like all gaming companies. Um, in particular, one thing that a lot of people find is that the board game world is actually huge. Like there's huge money in it. And it's not like when most people think of board games, they're like, oh, Monopoly, Trivial Pursuit. I used to go to Gen Con, which is, you know, a convention for gaming. There are literally thousands of people who are making a very niche, unique board games. 
that have niche, unique followings all around the world. And almost all of them are far leftist idiots. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I, I, I like shoots. I like shoots and ladders. So that's a classic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I could play some shoots or some, uh, some trouble maybe. Um, Stratego maybe. Yeah, oh, Stratego Part- is, Stratego is one of my all time favorites. Yeah. That's that too. one. Yeah. That one is great. <laughs> yeah. That one. I spent a lot of time playing that. Love that game. The, um, one thing I wanted to talk, uh, also about is I know we both covered it. Like so many things, we need more Stixes and Jeremy's out there that cover important issues about the internet and our freedoms. Did you see that they did pass through um, Biden's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Internet Act yesterday? Yeah, isn't that wonderful? By three to two vote. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait for that to get abused. So, I mean, I'm going to have to take this flag away and have, I guess, the Chinese flag in the background you know, <laughs> yeah. just as a show of solidarity with my new, uh, the, my new involuntary political affiliation. I yeah, mean, this I'll... is one of, this is one of the craziest things uh, that has been proposed actually, internet wise, the ability of the U S government through the FCC, through, through an unelected bureaucracy to effectively rewrite the terms of service for providers. <laughs> and, yeah. And take, if you had proposed it 10 years <laughs> and if you had proposed it 10 years ago, every tech firm would be protesting it. So yep. you can see you can see which ones have and have not sold out. Yeah, I, and it's one of those things that like it finally popped up on everyone's radar. I think you and I are probably the only ones that covered it. It passed, and I, I quote tweeted it last night. I'm like, oh, well, it passed, and everyone's like, oh yeah. my god. I'm like, I f- freaking told you. Like I yeah. told Razor you, Fist, this- Razor Fist also oh, he covered did. it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He, he covered did. it, and and a few others did. But yeah, for some reason, a lot of people have missed the ball on this one. The, the mainstream media didn't cover it. Fox News yeah. had one article about it. They had Brandon Carr on. Was um, Fox's article like, "Here's the good and the bad," or yes, <laughs> something yes, very it was. non-committal? Yeah, it's um. Oh, by the way, our our mutual friend King of Biltongs here. I'm gonna give him yes. a shout out. Good morning from Anton's of Roanoke, Texas. My two favorite creators in one stream. Free shipping on your built on using code Sticks or the Q on Land of Biltong and Anton USA. I think Sticks and I are both fans of Biltong. I'm a big fan of the Wagyu stuff. Oh my god, very good. good. Yeah, and, so and good. He he sent me this package that was about this long, <laughs> filled with yeah. I saw. But I noticed meat. that you got a lot more than I did, and I was uh-huh. like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, I'm the favorite. Viewers. <laughs> yeah, as Sticks viewers must get must buy more than mine. The, um, oh, it's it, fucking delicious. Yeah, I love it. Um, he sent me some ghost pepper Wagyu. It was a little too hot for me, but it's See, like my, a six my, or a seven. Yeah, he, he sent, really, it's a, he sent a package uh, to, to my house, actually, and my dad got it because my dad really likes spicy food. He said it was less spicy than he expected. Yeah, but then, think, but don't feel too bad because my dad will literally take raw habaneros and just munch them down as a snack. So he's oh, okay. nuts. So yeah. he's not like he's not mortal like we are. Yeah, I'm like a medium hot wings guy. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think as long as you're as long as you're cool with medium hot wings and it's good, it's still freaking delicious. And it's like I love it as a snack because it's like oh, this is totally not garbage processed, you know, junk. It's just good food to eat as a snack. So there is quality meat. Yeah, yeah, like not shitty meat. Yeah, there you go. We got sticks and the quarterings approval of the meat. So, so go get some. 10 out of 10 by Bill Tong for me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get any spicy beet hole, bee hole chats asking, but it was, I prefer the non-spicy one. But anyway. I, I think I think there's an even spicier blend coming soon. Actually. Oh, God. Don't send yeah, me that, Anton. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be trying it. Yeah, send it to Sticks or Sticks' dad. Um, the What do you think, um, by the way, I'm joined here today by Sticks Hex and Hammer. If you haven't yet, please do follow him uh, on your platform of choice. If you're watching, if you're one of the you know 5,000 people watching on on Rumble, make sure you follow him on Rumble. If you're following him on, if you're watching on YouTube, that's also cool. Follow him on YouTube. I appreciate everyone being here up early this morning. And sticks, I, you know, I know that um, you know it's uh, it can be a bit of a, a pain in the rear to you know, do these things. So I appreciate you coming on and, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm having good, you know, I think we're having a good conversation. Oh yeah. I'm very happy to be here. I am wondering what are all the Wario's behind you? What the heck are those? They are. Um, so rumble gave me some, uh, promotion stuff to, to give away to my viewers. 
So these are just like gift cards that I printed out. So I'm giving Aww. away like, you know, if you happen to be a new viewer, tune back in at noon today, my normal scheduled show, and I'm giving away like ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. All this stuff is get, going to my viewers. So um, yeah, just to try and you know get them used to tuning in at that time frame. Um, get them, you know, nice one. Yeah. So that I'm, I'm, yeah. Like you said, Rumble's been extremely supportive, and um, it's you know, nice I, to be able to actually talk to the people in management on the site that you're using. It's nice to be able to actually be heard. Yeah, you know what's funny is this morning at what is it? 702. So about 40 minutes ago, I sent a message to the CEO of Rumble and I was like, "Hey, two of the biggest proponents of all tech are on a live stream right now. Get us on the homepage." And he's like, "Gotcha." <laughs> you know, like imagine doing that to YouTube. Like, "Hey YouTube, we're talking about important issues. Could you maybe could you would you consider promoting us for free?" And they're just like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. Like that's that's why I'm so yeah. I remember so back. Loyal. I remember back in the good old days, back when I could actually be on trending on YouTube or something like that. And like I can do that on Rumble. I can do it on BitChute. I can do it on Odyssey. I can do it on etc. But I can't do it on like the main site that I spent to you know now what fourteen years making content on. Yeah, I think you're one of the few people who've been doing it longer than me. I was around similarly mm-hmm. in length. Back when you had to get ten thousand subscribers so you could get your own custom banner, they, that used to be a goal on YouTube. Like once you have ten thousand subscribers, then you can change your banner. Now they let everyone do it. That was before they even had monetization. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's wild uh, out there. What do you think? Um, you know, what do you see? You know, speaking of all tech in in particular, do you think that you know Rumble has you know, first of all, shout out Bitchute and Odyssey. I love you. Um, and we'll always post my videos there. In fact, I pay monthly to support both, or at least Bitchute. I, I'm one of their, on their subscribe stars. By the way, I also yeah, show I do that subscribe too. star. Um, see, we even put our money where our mouth is. Yeah, like I donate money <laughs> to them. They sent me a bunch of t-shirts and stuff. Um, they had some uh, dude, some like Portugal cage fighter, something like that. Promote yeah, my channel. Yeah, th- yeah, there was like a sort what of like a that? prison fights thing from Thailand, I think it was. Yeah, Thailand. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw some pictures from that. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, one of the fighters had like my channel tattooed on him or something. I was like, damn. Yeah. The, I'm sure it was just marker, but the um, so shout out to those guys. One of the things I've been, I found interesting is the rumble effect on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> anecdote. Remember when you could look at your YouTube analytics and see search? as a as a refer like yeah. now it's just people that know my channel come to my channel that's it rare like once in a year well i'll see i have a video like pop and i'm like well what happened and they're like whoop youtube slipped up let went through the net let went through the they gold do that to me as well yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm like oh man anyway um I-, I noticed that youtube actually changed their strike policy to where now you can go through a little bit of um reprogramming and then remove yeah. strikes from your from your account i think, I think that th- only i think that only works for the warning on the channel i went Is through that, that yeah i okay. went through that struggle session actually some weeks ago so eventually i won't even have a warning on my channel maybe that'll redeem me in the algorithm that'd be hilarious but uh it's basically just you get an unlimited number of guesses as to the answer <laughs> yeah. to a, a small number of multiple choice questions and it's just like you know you just freaking have to do it has it. nothing it to minutes. do yeah it has nothing to do with your infraction either yeah it's meaningless yeah it's like oh you timmy was banned from youtube and janie was timmy's friend so she uploaded timmy's videos is this allowed yeah. I, I went through it too thinking the exact same thing i was like i don't really care but also i wonder like okay now i won't have a warning on my account um but i do think I I th- I thought I read that it was for strikes too, but I could be wrong because I only I can't confirm that because I only it, had a warning. It, it may it's it's a, I know for the warning it's uh, after um what was it I think sixty days or ninety days yeah, then the I warning know. goes away. Yeah. If in that period you get another one, you do get a strike and the warning is retained. 
Uh, otherwise, oh. it goes away. So I think okay. the idea is that if you don't get too many strikes over any short period of time, you can always get rid of the warning after a certain grace period or something. Oh, I get it. it. Actually, right. Ironically, it actually makes sense. It's just that the methodology is pathetic and doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. Well, to me, I thought, oh, here's YouTube realizing like, oh, shoot, like we're banning too many people. People are getting yeah. banned. And every time we ban a big creator, you know, our competition gets a huge free promotion. Every time Joe Rogan, like Joe, there's a soundbite going around where Joe Rogan's like Rumble is where it's at. I'm like, oh my God, Joe, come to Rumble, please. Yeah. And uh, I don't think he ever will, but um, him just saying that uh, is, you know, and with Rumble being publicly traded, just so everyone knows, I don't own any Rumble stock. I don't intend to purchase any in the near future. I would like Disclaimer to purchase some. Mode. Yeah. Oh, well, because I'm an employee, so I have to be, be a little careful. But like the Rumble stocks at like four or five bucks. And I'm like, man, why isn't this like at a hundred dollars? It's like the it's like even Wall Street's against uh against Rumble. What do I you think, think that when I think that when new tech really pops, and I don't think that it's popped yet, Rumble bit shoot all these other sites. I think that there are big things ahead over the next two or three years. Mm -hmm. And and that's, I think, when really they're going to show their fangs because we're only I mean, the old tech sites can't really innovate as quickly because they're more constrained because of the monopolistic mm -hmm. uh, uh, methodology that they use. It's more stagnant. Yeah, that's um, that's, you know, that's a, a which leads into where I was going. What do you think now? I, You know, having this solution isn't like the isn't ideal. You know, it's more ideal to have more options. But one thing I've thought about is like, we really need an alternative to Google and Apple. Like, th from a monopolistic standpoint, we need a pl a Play Store that isn't part of that monopoly. Right now, I think with the Starlink network, this is just a a, a, a you know, I've had two joints and uh you know half a bottle of bourbon, and I'm just sitting outside thinking like, man. But like, what if like you know. You know, star, there's a Starlink phone. I think that's on his. I think that the Tesla phone is something he's talked about. Yeah, he has mentioned and, it. You know, I think that's our probably our. I think when you're talking about new tech popping, I think we need something like that in place first because right now, all water flows through two dams, and they can shut it off at any time, and that makes me. I think that's why the Rumble stock is low because they're like, well, pff, Google can just cut them tomorrow, and that'll be it. Um. So once there's a, a you know third option or even a fourth option, I think I wish there were a hundred options, but uh, you know, I, that's you've talked about the internet 2.0 kind of thing in the past. Do you think we're any closer to that? Or do you think we're still stuck on this, on this path of the foreseeable future? I, I think that eventually that will happen, that there will be more competition. I just don't have a time frame. And also you got to understand I'm a, a Luddite when it comes to phones. I don't use apps. I, I detest the smartphone generation. I use an actual PC. Yeah, me I'm, too. I'm, yeah, yeah I, I mean, when I go out, I carry my phone with me just in case, but I don't sit there looking at it and texting people or being on call when I should be paying attention to traffic, especially Dutch traffic. That could be suicide. <laughs> yeah, Dutch burn. Watch the, for the um, bikers. Well, they had, um, you know, um, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Somebody in chat asked that I was going to ask you about. So BW asked, Sticks, do you think the Democrats will win in 24 based on abortion like they did in Ohio? I do think that that's a prickly issue at the local mm -hmm. level, at the state level, for sure. What Depends do you think? Yeah, yeah, it depends on whether they can shut Lindsey Graham up, I suppose. I think that the Democrats are at an advantage in taking the House. Uh, yeah. I think they're at a disadvantage for the White House and for the Senate. And the Senate, it's mainly because of the Senate map more than anything else, because the Democrats have to defend two to one. But I think the Democrats will likely retake the House of Representatives. It's not certain. I mean, the GOP is slightly ahead in the generic vote, but that could go, I think, either way. It'll yeah, the... Localized. The Roe v. Wade overturning thing, this is one of those unintended consequences of that, where now every candidate has to have an, has to have an abortion stance. And quite frankly, yeah, I'm not saying I agree with it, chat, before you yell at me. Abortion is a very big losing issue. It's just big. Agreed. Even, you know, even like people who vote Republican like I do, I, I'm not inclined to be like attracted to a a pro, it feels boomer-esque, like a, a hardcore pro-life person. My position is just so everyone knows, 
I am f- uh, pro-choice but anti-abortion. So, you know, I don't want the government having control over that kind of stuff. But now suddenly every, um, you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry who's running has to answer that question. And quite frankly, now Zoomers have been mobilized. We saw this in my state. We lost the Supreme Court in my state because of, literally because of it. Because a bunch of 18-year-olds sh- showed up and, and voted out of the Repu- voted uh, out the Republican from our Supreme Court because they they were like, yeah. well, the GOP, gonna... Go the GOP should have left it to be a state's issue, like Donald Trump clearly supports. By the way, this is yep. why he doesn't want to want to have a particular federal level angle. He doesn't want to have a conversation about it. And other people say, well, that's because he's feckless. He hasn't made up his mind. No, no, no. He's trying to win. And this is right. what the other. This is what a lot of other Republicans. This is why Republicans don't lose, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They take up some hardline issue like a Lindsey Graham. Like, oh, now, 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 after fifty years of campaigning on this being a state's rights Tenth Amendment issue, Roe v. Wade's gone. So now let's make it a federal issue. Now let's ban it nationwide. Yay! Right. That'll go over really well with female voters, with moderate left, Republican et cetera, voters, et cetera, with like yeah. 75, 80% of the population that doesn't support what we're proposing. Yeah. And uh, and they self-sabotaged. Yeah, that was um that was a real you know, it's I'm glad that you agree on that because it's like every time I you know, I try to broach it and people that spurg out at me like, "What are you pro killing babies?" I'm like, "No, I'm pro winning." Yeah. You know, yes, like clearly the, the two of us absolutely hate infants. Yeah, right. we want, we're we're Ralph Northam all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the any the only good baby is a dead baby. But the board, everyone, hail <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The I, I just this is why the GOP loses. Mm-hmm. That you have these idiots out there that are like, "Well, we got to be pro life now." I'm like, "Great, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose everywhere but the Bible Belt, and even then, it's getting it's a less. It's not as it's not 1950 anymore. It's you know, it's a boomer issue that young voters don't even really want to get involved. In. It's like the weed issue." Push it to the states. I love that. It doesn't need to be a federal issue. That's they. That's how they handle weed. That's how Trump's opinion about weed was, and I think it's working just fine. You know, states yeah. that want to legalize and also it. Are, it's more con- and also that's more libertarian. Ironically, it's more constitutional to generally let the Tenth Amendment reign. The federal government never should have been involved in any of these things. Yes, yeah, uh, BW says overturning Roe v. Wade was leaving it to the states. People exactly. now, people now mad the states aren't forced to allow it. So we're screwed. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that is a losing issue in, in most states. <laughs> you can you can have an opinion on it, but don't run on it. You yeah, know, exactly. I mean, if you're running for governor of Alabama or something, then maybe you can get away with it. But if you're taking it to the national level, it's just going to be dead weight. Yep. Yeah. You know, watch what Trump does. Trump's going to say it's a state's issue. It's like Teflon. He doesn't have to have an issue. And that's how it should be, by the way. We are a republic, right? It should be the, I want as few things as humanly possible uh, decided at the federal level. You can protect our borders and that might be it. Like, I, I don't, maybe our roads, <laughs> you know, like that's, that's, uh, it. I don't think the federal government does very well with those either. Nor True. most of the state governments go to visit Vermont sometime. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My, the roads in my state are like, um, you know, worse than downtown Baghdad. And um, <laughs> if you go to a lot of these like Democrat cities too, you know, New York, I've seen potholes big enough to swallow up a car. And it's like, you know, I don't know. The roads issue is is a funny one. What is um, you know, and, uh, I know you've, I've I've already taken up an hour of your time, so I, I I'll I'll be quick with this with this question. But and by the way, wherever you're watching, do me a favor. And I see everybody's rumble rants. I, I normally, unless they address the guest directly, I I will re- I will read them afterwards because I don't like to, you know, be like, ha, huh, here's some more money I made, uh, and then read it in front of their face. <laughs> Although um, you like the money, I do love the money. Okay, but the um, if you're out there and you're not, you know, if you're if you're watching, you're enjoying the conversation. Do me a favor, and if you haven't yet subscribed to Six X and Hammer or followed him on on, if you're watching on Rumble. Uh, his link is in the description. Go do that. Uh, similarly to YouTube, if you prefer to watch YouTube, that's okay. I love you still. Uh, mm-hmm. Follow him on YouTube. Wherever you watch, you know, just sh- you know, show up and then check out his website. Yeah, go check it out. This is a, a passion project for him, and um, 
you know, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. And if you haven't yet, he's not super active on Twitter. He's he's around, but his Twitter is also linked uh, down below. I think you have it figured out, basically. Like, I've longed for the days of the flip phone. Like, I, I'm i le- I'm very close, dude. Very close to just flip phone. And it's like, I already purposely leave my voicemail box full so people can't leave me voicemails because it's like work <laughs> piling up. It's like, oh, I left you a voicemail. If, if it says it's full, then you can't leave me work to I wouldn't even know how to check my voicemail. Yeah, see, that's yeah. See, I got to adopt that. I, I, I need to go full on Luddite and say, well, geez, I don't know. I, I don't know. Cellular phone? Doesn't that give you cancer? And then people <laughs> will leave me alone. What do you What do you think if you had to, um, uh, you know, if you had to place a, a bet, um, mm-hmm how does 2024 work out? I think Trump wins re-election probably under House arrest. Um, and the Senate goes Republican, but the House goes sharply Democrat. But again, so we're he, still quite some ways out. So we've, we've got to, we, we can't make a final prediction now. That's my preliminary prediction. If nothing else changes is Trump is re-elected. He gets five of the six battleground states, picks up an additional, probably Virginia, possibly Minnesota. Senate goes plus two Republican. House goes plus 20 Dem or thereabouts. I Yeah, that's similar. I, I, you know, I think for me, Trump, you know, you look at a lot of the states he lost in 2020. I think he wins a bunch of those again, mm-hmm. like Wisconsin, which he won in 2016, lost in 2020 by, you know, 700,000 votes at 3 a.m. or whatever. Nothing weird there. But the, uh, you know, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, these are all states he won in 2016, I think, and he lost in 2020. I think he gets at least two out of those three. Arizona, Nevada, these were closed states. I think he has the votes uh, electorally. I think Americans, you know, on our side, dealing with, just like always, we'll see more Trump. You know, Trump is just consistently better at this. Americans are not, thinking about Israel, Palestine, they're thinking about, you know, it costs $120 to fill up their car for gas. Mm -hmm. Their groceries went from $180 uh, a week to $260 and they're getting less for it. These are winning issues. And these are issues I think Trump will hammer. Um, Yeah. We'll see if the down ballot Republicans are are wise enough to do so, but they're Republicans. So it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. That's why I think they lose the house. Don't forget Ukraine, everybody. We got to defend our, our beloved partner, Ukraine. My my platform is we should double aid to Israel. Oh, that's rather nice. <laughs> yeah, and, it'll be be a, nice. and it'll be a border county, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't. I don't have enough money to put gas in my car to work on my soul crushing job. But uh, cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We, we, we can sell Israel more missiles. Yeah. That's there's a lot of this like early 2000s Republican coming back yeah. out. Yeah, the Bushite thing. Yeah, and that's I fucking hate it. I hate it with a fiery hot passion. It is an absolute dog turd to run on. <laughs> and some of them still will. Some of them still will. They're like our beloved friend Israel and blah blah. Bro, I go, <laughs> you know, I I rub elbows with the people. I'm not in Washington, DC. Nobody's talking about Israel Palestine in the bar. They're talking about, whoa, oh my God, did you see gas is under three dollars a gallon now? Like that's what people talk about. That's what Trump will run on. And that's what, like, I, I remember famously, you remember the, the Joe Biden tweet that got mercilessly ratioed? I think it was, it was either this 4th of July or the last one. You're like, thanks to oh, Biden. Oh, yeah, you like five cents. <laughs> we save you five cents on things. I'm like, yes, please. Yeah, keep saying stuff Joe, like that. Joe's going to keep dabbing on him. Yeah, he is. He, yeah. Um, by the way, yeah, so um, Sticks, I, I wanted to, you know, I try to keep it to an hour because I know it's a long time to chat and you've yeah. got work to do. So I'm going to, I'm going to mainly cooking. Don't you know? Uh, yeah. Ketchup and steak, right? Exactly. Yeah. The, the, um, so <laughs> no, it's hot dogs with ketchup tonight. Oh, I like hot. I'm a big hot dogs guy. I, I don't accept any hot dog slander. I'm a, what's your favorite way to make them? Do you like to grill them, boil them? It really, that part doesn't matter. It's all about the condiments and I will always add goat cheese. Goat cheese is solid. Goat cheese, I like yeah, a I like a sour a cheese. I like goat cheese. Um, With some yeah. piccadilly. 
Yeah, that's all good except for pickles. Yeah. The um <laughs> so it's, it's I'm going to I'm going to make a I'm going to make an official quartering hot dog and all it is is pickles. Just a pickle a, on a, a bun. A, yes, literally <laughs> a big pickle on a bun with slices of smaller pickles on top. <laughs> that sounds like uh, Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us everyone in the chat. If you're not already following, I'm going to stick around for a little bit here. I'm going to st uh stick around but uh sticks, thank you so much dude. I've always uh admired your work. And um, thank you for being so supportive of new tech and, and, and kind of leading the way with that because it's inspired myself and hopefully others to do the same. Well, thank you very much for having me. I admire your work as well. And shall I say it? Yeah, say it. That's about all. Peace out. <laughs> all right. That was Sticks Hexenhammer. So glad to have that. One of my all-time favorite content creators. Um. I want to read some of these chats now. Uh, Sigil Stone says, Jeremy and Sticks together. Not sure how to feel about this. I'll split the difference by pooping in a drain. That's a solid one. Cam, that's a big dick energy with $100. Cheers to the kings of alt tech with you both for almost, been with both of you both for almost a decade for the clank and the quarter pounders. Bulldozer 74 says, Two of my favorite creators, thank you both for all the hard work you put in to entertaining us weirdos. Are you excited for Rumble Studio? Yes, I am. I can't wait to start using it. Clank. Yes, I am very excited for Rumble Studio. Um, as Maria says, as Maria says, how should Rumble attract more users? Biggest complaint I've heard from friends when I recommend them is mainly they see political stuff and it pushes them away. They're keenly aware of that. And they're if you look at their homepage now, they're trying to promote more normie content and i think you answered your own question they need to promote more normie content they need to get more like you know the geeks and gamers people you know hollywood pop culture video games this stuff is you know this is how this is the way um jason angel fire says morning enjoy both your content what platform is best to watch your videos if you're only going to watch one place outside of the exclusives is there a best place since there are multiple sites I mean, I think wherever you're actually going to watch it is good. If you enjoy Rumble, then stay there. Uh, if you enjoy YouTube, stay there. I'm just glad you're tuning in. Um, Razor Fist next, Jeremy. I, um, I've asked Razor Fist a bunch of time. He never answers my DMs. So I don't know if he doesn't look at his DMs or he doesn't want to come on. He doesn't want to, you know, he just doesn't want to. You know, that's okay. Um, but I've never been able to get a hold of him. Uh, Sigil Stone says, just finished my bill tongue and I'm on my way to Bonehead's grave. Shit's about to happen. <laughs> uh, Forge and Anvil says, Christian here, people were jumping on her for saying Christ is Lord. Apparently it's anti-Semitic to say basic Christian beliefs. Yeah, that wasn't, uh, that probably wasn't a good look. Uh, Pepe Payne says, uh, no hate fellas, but editing any original work, any different than the modern audience BS. It's not somewhat complicit in the changing of history. Roar to help pay with good intentions. Much love. I I I don't, I mean, I I definitely get your point. And you know, I don't think he's quote unquote making it modernized. Wait, for a modern audience. I, I think he's just kind of like updating it. Um, but maybe I don't know. I get what you're saying though. I don't think that that's his intent. I don't think that that's what you're saying either. Tactical shot. Neoliberals, don't you mean Nazis? Sergio Stone says, to be fair, Congress has built a border, a very nice one. It looks good surrounding Israel. <laughs> yeah. Tactical shot. Thank God for the Second Amendment allows regulated militias the ability to fight back and destroy a tyrannical government. Start training gents. Turd herding Sparky says, two of my favorite people in one stream today is good. Dude, thank you for that. Um, very, very kind. And over on um, YouTube, um, BW says, um, oh, I got that one. Cringe bro says, both of you are grifting D bags. Hey, I appreciate that. I am a grifter. Um, sticks answered that sunny cat says clank. Uh, Ozzy's robot says morning sticks. Jeremy, I sent Jeremy an email about possibly doing some ads on his channel. He never responded. Must think I'm not good for it. Clank on. Um, I no longer manage that email. Rumble manages all that for me. So if you want to reforward it, um, do that, and then hopefully they'll they'll get back to you. Um, Ministry of Wrong Think. I'm going to look into that Japanese manga thing. Can ch chat? Does chat know anything more about that? 
said they're going to pass legislation that could take down 30% of creators in Japan. It's a deliberate attack because anime manga isn't woke yet. I don't know about that. Uh, Martin says, I should be working right now, but this collab is worth the headache later. Thanks for the great content, fellas. Hey, thank you. Um, Professor Enoch says, the stream we all need and deserve. Much love. Thanks, Sticks. Mark Gudetti, Gudetti says, many times you've been asked, many times you've been asked to sell uh, medjal dates. You said no CBC, don't sell snacks. Now you sell snacks, but still no dates. Don't force. All right, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. I'm I'm actually looking it up. I'll look at that. Okay. It's a superfood. Okay. All right, I'll look into it. A lot of it is in the storage, right? If if it's like dehydrated or something like that, does, if it needs to be refrigerated, I can't do it. But if it doesn't, then I can. Um uh Ram Ramon GT says don't forget sticks biltong. Yeah, okay. Um, wasted bonus stuff. Self projecting your house is a trash can, not my grave. Anyway, I'm on cut to short. Good night, everyone. If Bonehead's grave isn't a trash can, then why did I put co county landfill on it? Oh, I like the super, I like the rumble rant battle. Good news is, hey man, good. Just checking to see if you have seen the Dalton Mayor thing. It's pretty messed up. She used taxpayer money to go to Las Vegas. It's crazy. I'm telling you to take a look. I did take a look and I sent it over to a few people that I think uh, would cover it and we can look at it on today's uh, stream as well. Time to go watch Bongino act like a fake tough guy on Crowder. <laughs> Poor Jeremy isn't used to the food be feud between Sigil Bonehead. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting built on the lore of Sigil Bonehead. Final thought. When is Biltong brand Biltong coming? Uh, probably never. Uh, because um, I don't, uh, again, you'd have to refrigerate that. Um, Bone versus Sig is a show, Jeremy, and it generates cash for you. Well, I love it then. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. So, you know, while I'm here, I'm up at 8 a.m. Um, wait, my carnivore friend wouldn't eat my built on because of the raisin juice? Really? Did you see the editor in chief for the recount got arrested for CP? What? No. Oh, <laughs> there he is. He looks like a pedophile. Bros, tell me that this guy does not look like a pedophile. Have you ever seen the meme? Look at his smile, okay? Now, hold on a second. I, I think it's still out there. <sighs> There's a meme about the pedophile smile. Uh... Oh, I can't find it. It, like, perfectly lays out the you know, the core tenets of the pedo smile. Maybe if someone could find it in chat, like mods don't, don't, uh, mods don't delete it if somebody links it. King of Biltong said there should, there should not be raisin juice in Biltong. The only, the only one I know that uses that isn't very good. Not going to name names. Uh -huh. Uh, Resistance says, I sent you to Gmail one hour. Please find me. I have plenty of good things to say. Love you on the recording. Okay, I'll check, I'll check it out probably. It's only a matter of time. Razorfest will be on Rumble. I hope so. Now, the recount is a leftist publication. But we do know, I will say this. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. Is it the one I'm looking for? Yes, this is it. That's the exact one. Okay. Nice job. Shout out uh, Pie Case. How to spot a pedo. Ever see a guy at work or school who sends off creepy vibes? You see yourself, man, I know this guy does bad things to kids. 
Some mental health doctors claim there's no way to tell a pedo apart from anyone else just by it looks alone. Wrong. I've scoured the FBI's most wanted list and found some examples that confirm my theory. Here's what to look for. First, the pedo smile. On the left is Mark David Keller, wanted for paying young homeless boys to hook up. Notice the telltale sign of a man who has a penchant for boy ass. The pedo smile, or pedo smile, is part smirk, part grin, grin, and all molester. It's like having a two-for-one sale on rape. No refunds or exchanges. On the right is John Henry Ramirez, wanted for plain old capital murder. Notice the cold gaze and no smile. Definitely not a molester. Probably, probably. Here's a chance to test your pedo meter. Meter, take this quiz to see if you can spot the pedos. Choose yes or no for each suspect. This is not a pedo. Dennis Ferguson, this is a pedo. The Jesus, not a pedo. Calvin Morse Cooley, not a pedo. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of pedos in here. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the one I was looking for. <laughs> Right, says, hey, Jeremy, any chance you'd live stream your videos to Minds at the same time you're streaming to Rumble on YouTube? I'd really love to see Minds get more love. I know you've used it a lot in the past. Um, such great reporting. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy to, um, but my live stream, my live stream shows are Rumble exclusive. Um, for the guests, I enable YouTube as well to try and get them the most, the biggest audience possible, you know, as a payment you know, they don't, they don't get the super chat. So the least I can do is help shine a light on their channels and, you know. Oh, in the movie, he was a pedo. That's right. It's been a while since I've seen that. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It's been a while. You know what? I um Last night, it's been a while, too. I By the way, if you're watching on um, on YouTube right now, Come to the noon show. There's like 1,500 of you there. I have a show on Rumble in four hours, and you might as well win some. Of this, this is $10,000 in stuff. You might as well win, right? Why not? You know, you might as well, you know, if you're going to chill, you might as well, you know, take, a, take the opportunity to... Uh, you know... Take the opportunity to win some prizes. At least, you know. Yes, can it, everyone, it's worldwide. Get over there. If you're watching on if you're watching on 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 YouTube right now, just open the I'll put the link in there. Go follow my Rumble channel. I'm not asking you to leave YouTube. I'm not asking that. What I am saying is create a Rumble account, follow my Rumble, and watch my da my daily show there. I've got 180,000 followers on Rumble now. I mean, it's really becoming a um, you know, an awesome place. So I, you know, I want to see you there. Tell Rumble to make a console app. We are gamers. You're right, and they're working on it. I know they're working on it. Oh, I'm in central time. Yeah. So I go live in like four hours. What I might as well ask you, what topic? Shut up, Russ. Uh, what um, what topics do you want me to cover today? I'll spare you the tweet. He just wants write-offs. AR guy, you say that in the YouTube chat. That means I know you've been on my Rumble stream. Jimmy, um, I don't win anything. So I, I don't win at those, but love your show. Well, watch it anyway, then. You know. Can Rumble make a better app? They're always improving it. Yeah. Just remember that, you know, YouTube's been around for like 20 years. Rumble's barely been around. So give them some time, you know? Rumble, Roku Rumble app has no chat. It's lame. Oh, they need to have chat. Yeah. What do YouTube and Will Smith have in common? <laughs> uh, wasted bonus. Going to take the opportunity to bitch slap sigil for pooping on my grave again. <laughs> I pick eight winners every day. So, you know, 
eight people win every day. So it's, you know, it's not like a small list. So 120 total winners. I suppose with that, um, I've got to get ready for my, I've got to go get ready for my, for my regular show. What, what the breakfast show today? Yeah. Said was one harder, boy. You ain't got muscles that make me feel it. Oh my Lord. I do think they're trying to get Will Smith to, to kill himself. I, I a hundred percent believe that that's the case. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you can't watch the Rumble show live, I give people up to seven o'clock to enter. So essentially during the Rumble show, I put out a link um, that is good for like six hours for people to enter. And the only qualifier is that you're following me on Rumble and you tune into the live stream. And I pick winners every single day. So if you can't, um, you know, if you can't, if you can't watch for one day, not all is lost, you know, you can enter on the days that you watch. Scoreboard says coffee brand coffee so tasty. I agree big time on that. Did you guys pick up your? You know I've got you guys covered for Christmas. You know I've got you guys covered. Remember early promo code early bird. You'll save ten percent off the gift boxes. They will never be cheaper than they are right now. I don't mark them down because we sell out. We literally sell out. I'm not. That's not a grift. Go back to last year and you'll see I sold out. I sold out on Mother's Day. So if you're, you know, if you want to put together a custom gift box for Christmas, the links are in the chat. Or you can just go to coffeebrandcoffee.com, of course, and you'll see a link to it. But you know, promo code early bird, save 10%. I know it's only the 16th, but like freaking um uh Thanksgiving's next week, right? So you know, Thanksgiving's next week. So get over there. Lauren is here. Hi, Lauren. Who's Lauren? Eight, eight winners a day, but none of them are ever in chat. No, no, they're in chat all the time. I, I announced winners. There are winners in the chat. Yeah, there are winners in the chat the last couple days. I would say about... You know, a lot of people enter later in the day after watching. So there you go. Yeah, Thrash Metal had 80 got picked yesterday. Yes, you did. And by the way, it's, you know, uh, the prizes are legit. Like a meta, a gaming computer for meta PCs is the grand prize. All of this stuff, all these, like, le here, all this, um, like, all this Lego stuff. These, these are like, these are like $700 gaming pads. You know, um, I've got the Asus Ally. I've got a Steam Deck. I've got all that stuff is free, totally free to enter. So you got to, you know, 3,000 losers every day. We're all in chat. Yeah, that is true. That is true. All right. So I'm going to get cracking on uh, today's topics. Come back. Come see me in three and a half hours on Rumble. And uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Go check out Six Hex and Hammer. I'll see you in a little while. Love you all. Appreciate you all. And uh, we'll see you again literally real soon.